Rwanda is the perfect setting for the conversations taking place at the Africa Soft Power Summit in Kigali, Rwanda. It's a country that has been deliberate when it comes to gender equality. Rwanda is the first country in the world with a female majority in the parliament, with 61.3% of females in the Chamber of Deputies. None of this has been by chance. Today, Rwanda is ranked the, the sixth country in the world when it comes to gender parity. Rwanda has the highest number of women in the world in parliament. Our cabinet is gender balanced, it's 50-50. So one time the president was asked, but you're the leader, how do you make this happen? And he said two things. One, he said, it's common sense. How do you have 52% of your population excluded? How do you expect to maximize output when you're using half of your capacity? It just doesn't make sense. It's common sense that women must be included. While there has been progress globally and across the continent, it is obvious that there is still work to be done. There are those who believe women should approach this from a position of entitlement. As women, we should be entitled to do, to do big things, to be here, to lead. So we really need to see how the positive word of entitlement really helps women change um, the, the dynamic and also become the catalyst to drive that change forward. As the work for women's empowerment and gender equality is on, it is agreed that women cannot do it alone. No, it's very interesting because it starts from the family level and I'm amazed at the duality of views uh, or perceptions in the African community. It take, in many of our societies today, you take the typical African male, he, he boasts uh, of the fact that he doesn't go to the kitchen and he doesn't participate in the, uh, the ten, uh, looking after the children. Same African male goes to live in Europe or North America, can't afford a housekeeper, he's the first to enter the kitchen to cook the food, very adaptable. And then the narrative in our communities where the perception of family members have expectations of male behavior. So we need to unpack and interrogate all of those, uh, that this now needs to change. Um, and that if the woman has opportunities to realize her best potential, she should. And it's a division of labor, of equality. And the truth is that it is inevitable. The more women are going to school, the more they're economically empowered. It's an inevitable journey. So what we need to do is to support the adaptation for men, but also for women. The data supports the inclusion of women in leadership positions as making financial and economic sense. Women's inclusion is tied to the continent's development and progress, as well as Africa's future. Tolulokwe Adela Rubalogun in Kigali, Rwanda, for News Central.